How's it going guys? Today we're back with another episode of Bit Battle. If you're new to this series, what I like to do is I like to compare the 8 to 16 bit versions of games, or sometimes even the 8 to 8 bit version. So often you'll see NES versus Super Nintendo, NES versus Sega, NES to Game Boy, and so on. So today's game of choice is going to be Double Dragon on the Master System, and I think this is the NES. That's pretty sad looking. Ah, oh, let's forget that. I used to have this game when I was a kid. It was in much better shape. Um, but it's one of those games I had to have, so when I first found it, I just took this one. It was only $5. So what I'll be doing is I'll play a few minutes of each one, kind of go over the comparisons of the two, see how well they control, how well they play, and so on. Uh, in the end, I'll then choose which one I prefer. Without waiting, let's get started. Alright, so I played Double Dragon a lot as a kid. It's probably one of my favorite games of all time. We're going to start with the NES version first because that's the one I remember the best. Uh, so I'm just going to play a few minutes of it, maybe the first level. Uh, just kind of compare the controllers, the graphics or the colors. Um, compare the controls. I am going to be using a NES controller for both of them because the NES controller is very similar to a Master System controller. Um, I just remember this game being really fun. I mean, so far this game is super smooth. The controllers are very responsive. As you can see, I'm kind of missing a lot of things. Um, also, this game just has really the audio in it, and it's just, it's really catchy. I also remember um, Double Dragon 2 and 3 are also really fun as well. I think one of my favorite, my favorite things about this game is when you, well, not only the fact you can get weapons, I was just going to say that. Um, we have like the one versus one matches against, I believe it was against like a Bobo or whoever you pick. Um, my brother and I used to play that a lot when we were kids. This is another cool thing about this game too is how like the environment is actually interactive. Like you can actually pick up weapons. I mean, I know a lot of games were like that in the past. Um, but this one, this game is just, it's such, it's such a fun game. I know I, I played this recently on Master System 2 and I thought it was a little bit harder. Um, we'll have to wait and find that out. I was just curious, are those girls or or boys or girls or males or females or whatever you want to say? I've always been really curious about that. They look like females, but I'm not going to judge. This is very similar to the last time I played Alter Beast. I just want to keep playing. Like this game is a blast. I I absolutely love this game. That was nothing. I forgot about this part too. How you can knock them off the edge. Ooh, here comes a Bobo. I think that's the name of Bobo. Adobo. Remember that? Seasoning is. <laughs> Sorry, knock him off. Yes. All right. So first impressions game. It's really really fun. I it plays identical to how I remember playing when I was a kid. Um, I could keep playing, but I do can't make this video too long. So in just a moment, I'll pop in the Master System version. Alright guys, so I'm going to play the Master System version now, kind of see how this one holds up. The title screen is different, and it's very vibrant and colorful. Um, if I remember correctly about this game, is that the Master System version is very difficult. Um, first impression though, this game is, it looks, it looks amazing in comparison to the NES version. Like there's a lot of different, the color palette I feel like is uh, much wider. This game is so hard. <laughs> hmm. Okay, 
good. It's not too bad. But it's definitely much harder than the NES version. Like, that NES version I flew through. But this game actually looks really, really good, though. Looks great. Why is it so hard, though? That's fine. As a kid, though, I would get pretty frustrated with this. Because one thing I noticed with this game is once they kick you down, getting back up is not easy. They'll keep kicking you down every single second they can. Alright. Maybe this game's better with two players, actually. Yeah, this game is just, it looks awesome. Like, it looks like an any or Sega in a half, I would say. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Is that a share? Okay, so I already lost. So, let's do a recap of this game. All right, so first impressions um, between the two games is that the NES version plays, it's very easy. The graphics or the color palette is pretty minimal. Um, but the controls on it are super easy to use, and I'm, I'm not sure it's because I use an NES controller that it made it that much more easier. Um, the Master System version, it looks, like visually, it looks a million times better. Um, but the NES version has the sound, which kind of outperforms it. So, I mean, each of them has their own perks. Um, I feel like with the Master System, though, it'd be a much better game if you're playing with someone else. Because the one thing I noticed with, when you play Master System 1 is you get tag teamed a lot. And... Once you get kicked down, it's pretty hard to get kicked or get back up, or it could be an issue of me not knowing the game too well. Um, like I said, I was using the NES controller, which I have mapped like identical to the Master System controller, so hopefully it worked as it should. Um, in, the, in the end, though, I would have to say it's almost a tie. Um, play value, NES was very easy to play, but I feel like the Master System would be great as two player. Uh, visuals, I'd have to go with the Master System. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, the sound, I would have to give it to NES. And all around, I mean, the controls, I would say they both win. So this would be, you know, a very close call. I would hate to really pick one. Um, personally, I love the NES one because it's the one I grew up with. But I feel like with time, you know, with practicing and maybe playing with someone else, uh, with the Master System, the Master System probably could outdo it. So in the end, I would have to say Master System. It looks great. It was difficult, but it looked great. It, it was it was very visually appealing, and so I'd have to go with that one. So I hope you guys liked that episode of Bit Battle. Um, it was a little difficult playing these two games, and yes, this is a copy of Double Dragon. You can see it on top. Um, they were both different, but they didn't really play identical to like how Altered Beast did, for example. Um, but yeah, they're both great games, so I would definitely have to give them both a tie, but the Master System one was a little bit better in my opinion. If you guys like this video though, definitely give it a thumbs up. In the comments below, below, recommend which game I should play next. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so you can check out future content. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week hunting.